Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Reshade. So if you've seen my Division videos, I have uh, shaders and you know they look pretty nice and I achieved that with Reshade. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get it installed, how to add it to the Division. I wouldn't recommend using Reshade on many online games like Siege, apparently you can get banned for using Reshade. So, yeah, you know, use it at your own risk. I don't know, like, I'm not responsible if you get banned in any games or anything like that. Personally, I only use it for Division 1, Division 2, and Dying Light 2. That is it. I did use it for Dying Light 1 as well. So, head over to the website. I'll have the link in the description and, you, you know, click download. And I've already done this, but I'll do it again. I have no clue what's going to happen if I download it again. But, you know, download the, the setup, wait for it to complete. And once it's done, you, you can see right over here, I've I've actually installed it three times. I, whoops. But you have the setup and you just want to run the setup, wait for it to open. And you should get this menu pop up where it says, you know, select a game or application. If it doesn't come up straight away, just go through the menus like, you know, uh, yeah, this menu should pop up and whatever game you want, just find it on this list. And if it's not on this list, you can click browse and then you know what you want to do is you just want to find the exe of the game so say i've got cold war here i'm not going to add it to cold war but what you do is you just double click on the exe and then it should add it so uh for this tutorial's sake i'm going to be adding the shaders to muck not really the best game for it but you know it's the best i could think of because all of the games that could go well if i've already you know added it to so yeah just click on it go next and then you want to choose like the rendering api i have no clue what this means but just just click 10 11 or 12 uh, i saw this one was recommended so yeah and then click next and it will want you to select presets to install and i recommend keeping these two for sure and maybe getting these two here quint and color effects because uh there's some really cool stuff you can play around with for those two so click next and wait for it to download and you know it'll just make sure you want to download all these files just click next click next wait for it to all download might take a minute or two click next again and finish and it should be done and now that you've finished it what you want to do is you want to go launch the game you've added it to so for me that is a good old muck okay so i've just gone ahead and open muck and you'll see this pop up and it will tell you what the keybind is to open it and start the tutorial. So for me, it's the home button. So you press that and it'll give you a tutorial. It's all jargon, just skip it. And this will pop up. And you, you can go to like settings and look at all your keybinds. So you can tell which button it is to enable the overlay. And up here is when you can actually uh, set your keybinds. So effect toggle key will, you know, toggle it on and off. So I'm just going to put my keybinds, this some crazy stuff. And go back to home and this is where you can actually play around with it so you can see if i enable this you know the game already looks better like look at that there's no really weird blue sky the trees look better and if you click home or whatever your keybind is again you could actually you know fog it on and off and i mean that looks terrible there to be fair but you know i'll open home again now the one i recommend to use is hdr so you know you can just have a look through all of this and hdr will be right here fake hdr fx because you know it just makes the game look better and you can mess around with the power you know make it really deep fried make it absolutely blind you or you can you know reset to default normally i go a little bit less because it can be a bit much but if you press home you know you can toggle it on and off so this is on this is off you can see it makes stuff pop out a lot more so i like it it's not very good with whites so you know that's why you want to kind of get a balance so maybe something like this for my because Muck is a bit of a bright game sometimes, I suppose. And, you know, if we disable that, there's other stuff you can play around with, like SSR, what even is this? Like, it does some crazy stuff. And you can put borders, like, you can do all sorts. This one's also pretty good. I, I enabled it at the start because you can completely mess around with the colors and, you know, you can do whatever you want. It's really customizable, which is why I recommend it. Just, you know, as I said in the start of the video, don't enable it for everything because some games might ban you for it. I, I don't know why. I can't tell you why. Uh, the, the cartoon one's actually pretty cool. Have a look at that. Everything's got an outline. It's a bit much though. You've got DPX, make stuff pop out a bit brighter. You've got Bloom. You've even got Bloom and that actually looks really good. 
So that's before, that's after. Like, you can make stuff look so much better with this. So I really do recommend it. Try it out if you want, you know. And I, I hope this little tutorial helped. It's really easy. Like, you, you can even get a before and after thing. Like, look at that. But I don't know if you can use this on Call of Duty. I don't know if that's bannable or not, because I've never tried. But Division 1 and 2, in my experience, completely fine with this, and it works really well. As Division 2 especially looks beautiful with the HDR fix, so I really recommend it. So, hope this helped, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Go check out my other videos, and consider subscribing, as it will make me feel good. I'll see you all in the next video.